So now we are on to reading passage 2 of academic reading test 3 IELTS 9 student book. So you should spend around 20 minutes uh, from question 20, 14 to 26 which are based on reading passage. So this passage is about tidal power. Undersea turbines which produce electricity from the tides are said to become an important source of renewable energy for Britain. It is still too early to predict the extent of the impact they may have, but all the signs are that they will play a significant role in the future. Operating on the same principle as wind turbines, the power in sea turbines comes from the tidal currents which turn blades similar to ship propellers. But unlike wind, the tides are predictable and the power input is constant. The technology raises the prospect of Britain becoming self-sufficient in renewable energy and drastically reducing its carbon dioxide emissions if tide, wind and wave power are all developed. Britain would be able to close gas, coal and nuclear power plants and export renewable power to other parts of Europe. Unlike wind power which Britain originally developed and then abandoned for 20 years allowing the Dutch to make it a major industry, undersea turbines could become a big export earner to island nations such as Japan and New Zealand. Tidal sites have already been identified that will produce one sixth or more of the UK's power and at prices competitive with modern gas turbines and undercutting those of the already ailing nuclear industry. One site alone, the uh, the Pentland Firth between Orkney and Midland, Scotland could produce 10% of the country's electricity with banks of turbines under the sea and another at Alderney in the Channel Islands three times to 1200 megawatts of Britain's largest and newest nuclear plant. Sites will be in Suffolk. Other sites identified include the Bristol Channel and the west coast of Scotland, particularly the channel between this Campbell Town and Northern Ireland. So work on designs for the new turbine blades and sites are well advanced at the University of Southampton's Sustainable Energy Research Group. The first station is expected to be installed off Linmouth in Devon shortly to test the technology in a venture jointly funded by the Department of Trade and Industry and European Union. Abu Bakr Bahaj, in charge of the Southampton research said, the prospects of the energy from tidal currents are far better than from wind because the flows of water are predictable and constant. The technology for dealing with the hostile saline environment under the sea has been developed in the North Sea oil industry and much is already known about turbine blade design because of wind power and ship propellers. There are a few technical difficulties but I believe in the next 5 to 10 years we will be installing commercial marine turbine farm Southampton have been awarded uh, this much amount 215,000 over 3 years to develop the turbines and is working with marine current turbines, a subsidiary of IT power on the Linmouth project. U means European Union research has now identified 106 potential sites for tidal power, 80% round the coast of Britain. The best sites are between island or around heavily indented coast where there are strong tidal currents. And coming to D. A marine turbine blade need to be only one third of the size of the wind generator to produce three times as much power. The blades will be about 20 meters in diameter, so around 30 meter of water, water is required. Unlike wind power, there are unlikely to be environmental objects. Fish and other creatures are thought unlikely to be at risk from the relatively slow turning blades. Each turbine will be mounted on a tower which will connect to the national power supply grid via underwater cables. The towers will stick out of the tower water and be lit to warn shipping 
and also be designed to be lifted out of the water for maintenance and to clean seaweed from the blades. Dr. Bahaj has done most work on the elderly site where there are powerful currents. The single undersea turbine farm would produce far more power than needed for the Channel Islands and most would be fed into the French grid and be re-imported into Britain via the cable under the channel. The one techni a technical difficulty is cavitation where low pressure behind a turning blade causes air bubbles. This can cause vibration and damage the blades of the turbine. Dr. Bahad said we have to test a number of blade types to avoid this happening or at least make sure that it does not damage the turbines or reduce performance. Another slight concern is submerged debris floating into the blades. So far we do not know how much of a problem it might be. We will have to make the turbines robust because the sea is a hostile environment but all the signs that we can do it are good. So this was uh, about tidal powers. Now let us uh, get down to the question and answers. Reading passage 2 has 6 paragraphs. This is A to F as we have just seen. Now which paragraph contains the following information? We need to write the correct letters A to F in this box 14 to 17. But we are going to write it here only. And you may use any letter more than once. This is N B. So let us start. This 14th. The location of the first test site. If you go back, we see in C, the locations are being defined, means where it is. Southampton, where it, where it is going, from where it is starting, which places are we are planning. You know, all these areas are being defined here. So the answer will be C. The location of the first test site. 15. A way of bringing the power produced on one side back into Britain. 15. You see, in this E, it has been said that it will be fed into the French grid and be re imported into Britain via the cable under the channel. So the 15th will be E. Then a reference to a previous attempt by Britain to find an alternative source of energy. 16. The first one, that is the A1, it is being defined that how different options are being chosen. Like unlike wind power which Britain originally developed and abandoned for 20 years. Then also uh, some uh, nuclear uh, plants, nuclear power plants discussion is also there. For this we will assign A to 16th A. The 17th one, mention of the possibility of applying technology from another industry. Again, we go to C and we see that there are various uh, statements which proves that how we can use different other energy sources or another uh, inputs to our plan. This is also been uh, given here in various sentences, right? We will assign C to this mention of the possibility of applying technology from another industry like where because we have, we have already developed the technology uh, in turbines because propellers in the shipping have been developed already. Now 18 to 22 choose 5 letters A to J, A to J, write the correct letters in the boxes 18 to 20, we will write here only on the answer sheet. Which five of the following claims about tidal power are made by the writer? So which of these means we have to find out the claims about this tidal power which are actually made by the writer. You need to you know go through the passage and then only you will understand or realize that these few of them are being told by or presented by writer others are not. So the first one is it is more reliable source of energy than wind power. This is true because it is predictable. The tides are pre predictable and, and are constant. So this one is true, first one. Then we come to B. It would replace all other forms of energy in Britain. 
this is not correct means not clearly mentioned no this will be a renewable source of energy that will that will be a source of power but not like this then we have uh, say c its introduction has come as a result of public pressure c no no where it is d it would cut down on air pollution d yeah this has been told already because this is renewable energy clean energy carbon dioxide emission was being uh, discussed co2 emission that will reduce co2 emission e it could contribute to the closure of many existing power stations in britain yes this this has been told and a name of our plant also have been uh, mentioned by the writer f it could be a means of increasing national but yes once it is surplus it can be uh, sold to the other european union countries g it could face a lot of resistance from other fuel industry no this was not not at all presented h it could be sold more cheaply than any other type of fuel uh, this is also not being you know mentioned i it could compensate for the shortage of inland sites for energy production it could compensate for the shortage of inland sites for energy production uh, this is also not being mentioned clearly so it was said that with the, the places where the currents are coming uh, the turbines will be placed there j it is best produced in the vicinity of coastline with particular features yes this is correct this is this is what i was telling so j this is true so ultimately a d then then e then f and j these are the claims about tidal powers that are actually made by the writer to coming to 23 to 26 we need to label the diagram below and we need to choose no more than two words from the passage of each answer and uh, this is an undersea turbine whole tower can be raised for dash and the extraction of seaweed from the blades 23 is actually maintenance maintenance then coming to 24 Sea life not in danger due to the fact that the blades are comparatively slow. They are turning slow, right? Then uh, here we have air bubbles result from the dash behind blades. This is known as dash. So air bubbles result from the twenty fifth. Twenty fifth will be low pressure. Low pressure behind blades. This is known as cavitation. cavitation so this was the passage 2 of test 3 ielts 9 student book thank you so much